Recently I've been diagnosed with Autism Spectrum Disorder and I don't really want to continue my YouTube channel without telling you the truth. So, let's go. I was the girl that couldn't get her words out. I was the girl that couldn't speak and I still struggle with my words every single day. School was a complete nightmare. I was getting teased by teachers and kids for being imaginative, creative and just being a bit quirky and different. My parents though, they were amazing. They knew I was a bit different even though we didn't know why or I didn't know why. I knew I was doing stuff differently to the other kids and I didn't know why. So they done a good job. Everyone else did a shit job. Um, I was a little girl that had no friends or not many friends and I would sit on my own in primary school and watch the other kids play and I would be fascinated by how they would play. I would be like, how are they doing it like so easy? And connecting with each other while I'm just sat here on my own. This doesn't make sense to me. And so I did try and have conversations with the other girls but it didn't work. So I understood growing up that I was a lot better with boys. Which then was very confusing to the girls because when I would hang out with the boys um, some girls would think I'm trying to steal their boyfriends when I wasn't. I just got along with them and that would get me in heaps of trouble without realising it because I've never... I can't read social cues, I can't read jokes, can't read sarcasm and I'm always the last one at the table, even today, to understand a joke. I don't know why, it's just the way my head is, so you've got to be direct with me, otherwise I've got no fucking clue. The reason I'm making this video so open and honest, because there's a lot of people in the world that don't want to be honest, because the world is a horrible place, but I want it to be open and nice, and I want to do everything I can in my power, in my being, for people to share their differences, share their disabilities, share their strengths, what they're good at, what they're bad at, whether you've got physical conditions or mental health conditions, like it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to ask for help because I still need help every day. I still need help every day from my parents and my partner. Most of the time I can't brush my own hair. Most of the time, mo not most, all the time I can't do appointments on my own because I still have what it's called situational mutism where I just stop talking because I'm so anxious and worried of what's going to happen next, I just stop. And there's not a lot of information about that yet, but that is something that I do. And I find that really frustrating because I was the girl that couldn't speak, so, but I can still sing and I can play guitar and I can still do a lot of other stuff, but as some other things I've probably never ever be able to do, and that's fine. But I needed to know why I couldn't do the other things, it didn't make sense to me. And I used to go to anxiety sessions because they used to think I had generalised anxiety disorder because my anxiety is really high. And despite, you know, people keep thinking I'm shy, I'm not. I really am not. I just don't have that car key, ignition, whatever you want to call it, to start a conversation with anybody. I don't have that. A lot of people can go with the flow of conversations, but being, trying to speak and get your words out, that can be quite hard. So trying to have a conversation back and forth, back and forth is very difficult for me. So if you see me at a musical event in Plymouth and I'm just sat down, just sit next to me and start talking and I'll probably give you loads of facts. Because when I got assessed and diagnosed last week, the mental health nurse and I was completely on like, whoa, over there. And um, I had a huge compliment. She, she compared me to David Bowie and she said, you need to do something with this. So here I am, going to say what I want to do with this. Next year, I want a lot of creative people on a certain scene, because i got a big project I want to create. And so I want a lot of creative people, minds, you name it, I want it. And it's for a certain, I can't say much about it, but for a certain bit, uh, for a storyline, and then they'll come out and what have you. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure to people it's okay to need help, whatever you got wrong. Because the world is a horrible place, but we can change it if we all stick together. So if you want to join it, 
you're more than welcome to, it's going to happen next year. I'm working on the song with somebody and then I'll work on the video with somebody else and we'll go through it like that. But uh, yeah, so that's my side of the story with autism and I bet a lot of people didn't know that about me, that I couldn't speak or get my words out or still struggle. Still st struggle with the supermarket, I can't handle that and a few other things but I mean I just want to tell people that it's okay, like if you're different, you're different. Can't do much about it. Hope you enjoyed um, listening to my story and you'll see some videos soon. Bye!